They're already with the little suit. Hey, Okay. Okay. Uh, come on. Let's do it. All right. Welcome. I'm calling this meeting to order. This is a special meeting of the Humboldt Unified School District. Um, uh, let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Madam Secretary, would you please call roll? President Hadley? Here. Vice President Wong? Here. Board Member Rock? Here. Board Member Wolka? Here. Board Member Wingsum? Here. Let the record be stated. We have a quorum. Have a good meeting. Thank you. Next is our agenda review and acceptance. Board members have had a chance to look over the agenda. Um, any questions or a motion on the agenda? I move we accept the agenda as presented. Second. Motion by Ms. Roth, a second by Mr. Rule. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next um, discussion item A is an overview of our current board agenda. Um, I think it's fairly self explanatory, actually. Uh, we're here to uh, um, interview uh, the two finalists that were selected previously. Um, those interviews will be done in executive session. Um, and we will also, um, at that point, item B is to discuss a possible contract. Um, and then um, item C is to possible action to offer a superintendent um, the opportunity to enter into contract negotiations. Um, the first two are executive session, item C would be an open session. Um, and uh, that's it, really. That's what we have on our agenda. Any questions? Um, I don't have a question. I just have a proposal. Um, over the past week, we've received an influx of emails from concerned parents, staff, and community members. They are asking us to eliminate one candidate and return to the draw return to the drawing board with another. We owe it to this community and staff to listen to their concerns, not pretend to listen put on a show and then disregard their concerns completely. The meeting today needs to be adjusted. Instead of a second round of interviews, I move we motion that the board head into executive session to review and digest the community and staff feedback. We need to return to the pool of highly qualified candidates and we must release another option. This is the most important decision we will ever make as a board. We are an elected body. Most of the emails were factual, well-written, and genuine. My platform in running was simple. Parental rights, back to basics, and protection for our students. I didn't hide who I was, and I won with 10,244 votes. Brianne didn't hide either, and she came in top two with 9,668 votes. We aren't the minority. Let's honor our community and take the evening to deliberate over another finalist. So, um, Mr. President, may I respond to that? Uh, sure, absolutely. You may. I would like to respond and say that we did receive many emails over the last week, um, close to uh, over 70, actually. And I read every single one of them. And I took the time to evaluate every single one of them. And nearly 40 
of the 70 plus, I think there were 73 or 72 total, nearly 40 of them were blatantly copied and pasted. They were not well written and they were not factual. They were a narrative that clearly represents an agenda that did not align or does not align with our values as a school board, as we are an apolitical board. There's no room for politics on this board. I have never hid who I was either. I am a person who believes in God and our country. And I am a person who has always, in the 10 years that I have been on this board, done what is right for children. I have never hid that fact. I am an educator with a master's degree who understands information and how to discern what is appropriate and factual and how to discern what is propaganda. And I, for one, have zero tolerance for the absurdity of what has happened. We have always been respectful on this board of each other and our views. And I find it to be unacceptable what has happened and what is happening blatantly online, outside of this board, with regard to each of us who don't align with your views. And you can shake your head all you want, but that is the facts. Not the facts. Not the facts whatsoever. Um, there was no, you, you're saying that there were no facts in the emails. Um, it is no secret that there was a dissertation. The dissertation is real. It exists. And it pertains directly to a vision in this yeah, school district, in a this, school this, district. Uh, Ms. Wilmer, uh, can I make a suggestion? On agenda. I, let's not go into a back and forth here okay. on this. Um, you can make a statement, but let's not go back and forth. I Ms. don't think there's that, anything. I think the, the place for this discussion to yeah. occur and including what Ms. Mazzone uh, referred to is in is in the deliberation portion. I don't think we can't change the agenda at this point. I don't think we should. It's not respectful no. to the candidates no. and to the process. I think we go through the process, we interview our candidates and we have our deliberation period, during which time we also look at the comments uh, of the uh, community and staff that attended uh, above and beyond whatever emails we received. I know we all received them. But that's the way the process was supposed to work, and I think we should stick to it. And at that time, we can talk about anything and anything that pertains to selection of uh, a finalist or a different way to go in the process. Does that Very make sense? Well. Okay. okay. So with that, I will need a motion on personnel item 4A. I move that we move into executive session pursuant ARS S38431.03 A1 to interview the finalists related to the employment of the district superintendent. I'll second. I have a motion by Mr. Rawl, the second by Mrs. Rawl. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> 